Good morning, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters, uh, Sorgatron.com on the YouTube channel, on Spreaker, Stitcher, and all the like. Uh, this morning, I wanted to talk to you guys about something I've been using. I, I've talked about this, of course, on the Awesome Cast, but I figured a little more extensive uh, since I've uh, gone and uh, kind of started setting it up again uh, for a more permanent solution. Um, I, you may remember before uh, before I left uh, for the holidays, I was uh, talking about a DIY camera solution, uh, security camera solution, and uh, found one just looking for some quick free ones. And I found this really cool one called Sighthound. It's at sighthound.com if you guys want to check that out. Um, it is actually free for one camera, and I don't know if they did this before, but they look like they're they're uh, limiting you to why are they showing squirrels and wolves. I don't get this. <laughs> So I can track the woodland creatures around my household, I guess. Um, but it's a free download. You can so you can try it out uh, pretty pretty readily, and uh, they seem to control that by uh, it's attached to a uh, a user login. So um, you know they know if you're using more than one camera. Uh, a quick hint: I'm you can just register different email addresses. It seems. Um, for testing purposes, for testing purposes. Anyways, um, it's pretty cool. I threw it on a couple of computers. Um, when I was gone, I threw it on uh, one of them down here in the studio, uh, one in, in my office. So it's like the places where I have all the technology, right? Um, and of course, um, out, out the front door, uh, so I can kind of make sure there's nothing going on. And that's really the only uh, point of access for my house is uh, pretty much through the front gate. Uh, I mean, there is sort of back access, but I feel like uh, uh, it's not very accessible right now. Like, you would have to climb in order to make that happen, you know. Um, so, not terribly, terribly worried about it. Um, but uh, it worked pretty good for for free and, uh, you know, whatnot software. Um, so, it, it's, it's pretty simple. So, you, you, you download the software, you set it up, and you can actually set it to look for certain things and you know one of the concerns i had was uh, what you know what can i use it's not like just putting this giant video file on my hard drive you know for you know ideally these older computers i have laying around you know i have a few extra ones that maybe aren't suitable for the studio here um so we're looking for other purpose for that and this seems perfect for that kind of situation so i'm setting it up and I actually have it set up right now upstairs um again just kind of looking out my front porch seeing what's going on um we've had you know notoriously issues with neighbor parking um so i kind of want to make sure we keep an eye on things if anything fishy goes on um because i we feel like it has it in the past and i won't get too much further into that part um but but it's pretty cool because uh, if you can see on the on the site you see um these boxes get drawn around people um and uh it, it seems to work pretty well it tries to identify people versus objects, so it'll kick in anytime it sees movement, uh, which, which is really interesting. So, you know, just pointing it out the uh, front window, anytime a car goes by, anytime somebody's walking up the street, anytime the mailman doesn't deliver my mail when I have a package waiting for him, that happened. I was really, really ticked about it, like the first day I tried this. Um, it'll kick on to the point where it'll kick on until they walk past the pillar in front of my house and then it'll actually shut the video off and then come back on when they get to the other side of the pillar and it recognizes them as a full figured object or person uh, again so um, seems to be limited so far uh, uh, it looked like the setting uh, when I reset it up now and again I, I thought it was a little higher when I tried it before um, it's topping out on the on the uh, free version at about 320 by 240 which isn't much, but it's enough, you know? I mean, what do you need? Do you really need HD video? Maybe you do. Maybe you want it. Um, then this might not be for you. Uh, and it looks like it may top out out of 640 by 480 as well, which uh, that's uh, just under what you get on standard definition television. Uh, so, again, it, as you dig in here and you get different plans, it may kind of, uh, it, it, it may kick up a little bit. You never know. Um... As far as the plans, there is a, uh, a multiple camera version, and there's like an unlimited camera version. I'm going to try to get the, There's no monthly fees. You pay once, which is kind of nice. When you start paying for it, um, they have remote viewing, so you can bring it up on a computer or, or your uh, Apple or Android device. Seems pretty cool. Multiple cameras if you're paying for it. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And, and they have uh, 
a, a line of recommended cameras. I have a cheap, 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 cheap camera. I have it on right now because all the good ones are right here in the studio. Uh, but I'm looking to maybe get pick up one of these. I mean, the cameras we use in here are like $30 large techs right now. And they gave us a pretty decent quality for, for doing, you know, YouTube kind of stuff. Um, but... Uh, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, if you purchase a license, the the basic package is sixty dollars. The pro package at two hundred and fifty. Uh, the sixty dollar one like activates stuff like okay, it does activate high definition support, uh, exporting to the cloud, remote access from phones and such. And then uh, at the uh, two hundred fifty dollar level, you you get all those features and you just have unlimited cameras. So this might be something worthwhile. Like when I'm looking at things, like maybe I do want to put something in my studio, in my office, in the out the front door, maybe out the back door too, um, and just go ahead and do that. Uh, you know, again, I'm going to have to set up a computer at each access point. It's not like a nice, you know, kind of IP cam that's going to take up, take care of things like this. And if you dig into this, you probably, I think there is IP camera support. So if you do have that, and IP cameras, uh, my understanding is, you know, you know, cameras on on your internet. You know, we actually had one of these at, at my old workplace because my manager was in Harrisburg, you know, not Pittsburgh, and it was kind of the uh, is everybody sitting at their desk kind of situation, right? Um, for whatever reason, they felt to do that. Um, I think this is really cool for for situations like that, uh, and it says. Uh, like I said, you can start it off with one IP camera or webcam. So you can see if your camera works well with it. You can try it for, for a period of time and, uh, you know, see see if it does work out. See what you do get out of it. See what do you do catch, you know. See if that squirrel is eating out of your trash, I guess. Maybe. Oh, I can get those raccoons that Chachi ran into the one time behind the studio. Oh, yeah, one time he opened the door uh, here because we have one of those kind of back door you know, you go down you know, and you can go in the basement in the back door kind of thing um, for our studio access here. And he just opened the door and there was a raccoon staring at him on top of the trash can. It'd be like a menagerie. Anyways, um, no, uh, but go check that out. It's site, sitehound.com. Something I've been uh, uh, tinkering with. Something that I think is going to be very, very useful. And uh, if this keeps going, I might actually probably put down for a license here very soon, too. Um, and uh, in the meantime, are you using a solution like this? Are you looking at other solutions? Like, are there better solutions than this? This seems fairly capable for for what it is in the price. And I think the price is not unreasonable for what they're offering you. Um but again, I haven't really looked too too much into a lot of other things. It's just one of the ones that really popped up uh, when I when I started doing a search uh, about a month or so ago. So uh, let me know sorgatron.com at sorgatron on the Twitter, um, and uh, please subscribe to us. So I have links over there at sorgatron.com for YouTube's and all that stuff. Twitter, or, I'm sorry, iTunes and um, um, uh, Stitcher, Spreaker, um, all that kind of stuff. So uh, until next time, have a good and safe and secure morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.